Oh, that's so good. Ice cream is so good. But Scott Rubin thought he could make it better, even though he's lactose intolerant. I have boxes of lactate, and before I know I'm going to eat ice cream, I take a lactate pill, and it's great. Is that not crazy? That's not crazy. Have you tasted the ice cream? Only in America could a guy who can't eat ice cream turn it into a strange success. This isn't really the safest thing to do, but it's fun. And it's all about having fun, it's ice cream. Scott Rubin had a successful career in TV. He helped start the G4 network. If you believe in something, you can create something from nothing. Now he's created Nitropod, which uses liquid nitrogen to flash freeze ingredients at 321 degrees below zero. Now you can put it on your hand and you Let won't. Me try. It just rolls right off. Wow. I saw at Burning Man a camp making a little bit of ice cream with liquid nitrogen. And I thought that was really cool. I had never seen that done. I said, you know, what if you could make ice cream this way for thousands of people instead of just a handful of people? And I just went all in. I cashed in my 401k, took every penny that I had ever saved over my TV career, and said, this is my new baby. Ruben bought himself a $16,000 nitrogen tank, rented a kitchen, and built the first permitted liquid nitrogen ice cream truck. Why is this better for freezing food? So the freezing process happens so quickly that it's creating a much denser product with less ice crystal. Ice cream, there is a big difference. It's the texture. The whole business almost melted away its first summer when Ruben's truck wasn't ready. I lost that entire summer. So I'm thinking I've spent almost $50,000, $60,000. I haven't made any money back. And so I had to eventually get investors, and the money is coming in now. We're seeing that happen, but it took a whole year of loss to start to turn the boat around. Last year, Nitropod scooped up $200,000 in business. Some grocers are asking for it. Meantime, Ruben is paying high taxes on his 401k withdrawal. So I took out over $100,000. That's taxed at 33 whatever percent. Um, got a tax bill for almost $40,000. But will it be worth it? An ice cream truck I don't see bringing you the same financial success. If you franchise that truck to multiple cities across the country and even around the world, that can be some significant revenues. And really, it's kind of like the spokes of the wheel. The nitrogen concept in the middle, trucks is one, catering is another, wholesale, retail, restaurant. When you add that all up, it's a lot of ice cream. I was terrible in science. I was terrible in chemistry. I was terrible in cooking, really things that people think are crazy. I kind of say, well, hmm, if there's a business there, crazy can be cool. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.